Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video kind of to get away from all the magic videos I've been doing lately and do something else. So what I've got here is a quick little video on how to clean a fountain pen. This is some, I'm not even sure what it is. It's my wife's pen. Uh, let's see, it says it's an X450. I think it came from Amazon. We're gonna go ahead and clean it because she hasn't used it in a while. The cartridge dried up and the ink inside dried up, so we're gonna give it a quick clean before we go back in. Uh, cleaning a fountain pen is really just as easy as that. I don't know if you're gonna see it that well, but the ink inside was also kind of a purpley violet, and the cup that I'm using is also that. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any. I see the water slightly. Yeah, turning. the water's slightly turning. Uh, I normally just run running water through them, but this is kind of a bit of an experiment, and in part, this is just me trying to find my way and find my style for YouTube videos, so I figured, what the hey, I'll do something a little bit more different and see what we get. Uh, people who are watching on the filthy casual channel i'm also filming on another gopro stand for my channel and that was my son he's got his own youtube channel going and he's trying to bite my style by recording while i'm doing something rather than coming up with his own content <sighs> but i guess you should be able to get both sides of the story i'll put a link to his channel and his video in the description for this one and you can kind of go over there and watch his side of it and we'll just call it a collab yeah and um mine too i'll do like feet act in the title and put his really channel i will leave a channel link and his description so yay so do we have any paper can you give me some paper towels james um, i'll get you some paper towels now My sister was also sitting here. If, yeah. if on James's channel, you can remember me. Oh uh, yeah, from the last video. Now yeah. as you can see, as we kind of <laughs> dry. Sorry about that. I had a bit of a technical difficulty with an alarm that I forgot to turn off. Uh, as I was saying previously, you can see the kind of pink ink come out of this. Uh, this was inked with Pelican Violet, I want to say 4001. I'll probably put the same in it again, but this pen had dried out, so we're just trying to get it, like, it operable anymore. Or? No, paint's too thick uh, and will dry up in the pen. Guys, yeah, you're watching my channel, I'm sorry. No. My, I'm holding a shutter. I accidentally slipped my finger, and it stopped my video. Sorry, there was, like, the black screen for a few seconds. So, with this, I'll try and cut it together so it's as seamless as possible, but pretty much this is it. I'm going to continue to do this, and then once I get it dried out and put together, I will grab a piece of paper and we'll write with it a little bit, but hold on, that's it for now. Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and assemble this pen. It's had a little bit of time to dry. It's been cleaned out. Uh, we're going to re-ink it with the same ink that we were previously using, which is the Pelican 401 or 4001. Uh, I believe it's violet. Uh, let's see if it says on it. It just says pink. But I believe I've gotten a bottle of the same stuff that's called violet. Maybe the other one is 4002. I can't remember. But let's go ahead and put the pen together. This is a Chinese pen. It takes a standard cartridge, which is where we get the Pelican. Uh, got a nice satisfying click there. We'll go ahead and screw the back on and let's see if we have any ink flowing. A little bit of ink flowing. It's going to be light because I didn't fully let it dry and so the nib is filling up and doing its thing. Uh, the ink's pretty smooth. That's one of the things I like about the Pelican ink is just that it is pretty smooth uh at this point the pen's inked we're good to go 
Like I said, the color is a little bit light just because there's still probably some water in the feed and the nib and that's going to dilute the ink. But at this point, we are good to go. And pretty much that's how you clean a pen out. Uh, usually you'll either clean it out because you're changing the ink color. Some people will clean out their pen just because it's empty. Sometimes if you don't use the pen a lot, you'll get in a situation where it'll dry up inside and then you kind of have to do it. Like I said, I also typically will just hold the nib or hold the feed like vertically underwater, not underwater, but under running water like this. And then occasionally you'll shake it. The water will come out ink colored and then when it starts to come out clear i'll kind of shake it a little bit and run some more water through it and i'll keep doing that until it comes out completely clear give it about 15 20 minutes to dry on a paper towel and then you're done i didn't really give this the full 15 minutes because i wanted to get this video out so that's part of what you're seeing with the color but i think actually if you look at the initial kind of scribbles with the most recent they're actually darkening up at this point, the pen's done. Thanks for watching.